Relatives of the now dead Sion Clark and police seem at odds over his character and identity. Both Clark and his alleged accomplices were chased down by an angry mob of residents from a shop at Pearl Village to Sarah Johanna East Bank Demerara over the weekend. But while one was thrashed and uh, the other, rather, was thrashed and fatally shot by someone from among the angry mob. For me, I think that if he, uh, if he surrender or you catch a man, why would you shoot a man? The, for me, I think in that in my own way, I'm, think, I'm wondering if it's a licensed firearm person because if he's licensed and is a firearm person, by now, it, he should have gone to the police. They should have apprehended him and he should have gone in and gave his statement stating that well, like, Sian actually put up a fight to shoot, you know? Make he, you know, hot, make he shoot Sian. A relative who also questioned the circumstances of what she termed an execution based on suspicion. Why would you shoot from the back? The means is either see I was running or you had you on the ground, face down. Because you can't shoot a man if without he retaliating. You don't find him with a gun. So why would you still shoot? The, the, the claim that is two of them, why capture one, you beat one, and why you, you murder. Why do you murder the other one? You shoot him in his back. Why you couldn't have probably shoot him in his foot? Yeah. Just like how you captured the other one, you hand him over to the police, you could have done the same. Why is it that the vigilante is taking justice into their own hands? You're trying to tell me um, you, your children is not safe now, even though you're trying to walk in a community or somewhere, trying to look around the place, you can't just collect a suspect just like that and just try to kill people, you take injustice into your own hand. Comments from relatives including an aunt, refuting many statements made by the police about the character of the now dead Sion, the family said as far as they are aware, Sion was never called cash money and neither was he ever imprisoned. I never know nothing about that. If you say that this, this person went to jail, provide the evidence, go to which jail, the see went to jail, he served his time and all of these things. Find out the jail that he was in. Hmm? And his father keep on telling that he don't want anything to do with him. His father got free Clark. I think they're getting him mixed up with somebody named Cash Money. Sian Clark, his father's name is Andre Clark. I don't know who's got free Clark. I don't know who's Cash Money. The person who shoot him, they need to bought the justice. Noting that the police investigation is ongoing to apprehend the shooter and several other persons for that incident, Commander of A Division ASP Marlon Chapman offered this advice to persons who are weary of criminality. There is a reason why there's a police force. And if you, at the station level you don't have the requisite satisfaction, that is why you have the commander's office. And I have a system that not satisfied with my course of action. But you cannot take the law onto your hands and beat up people and by and kill them to your candle that that is wrong. We have a police force, a very effective police force and we can deal with that. Just make a report and the forces are over to us, give a statement and we will do the rest. And what of the commander's advice to prospective criminals? Think about it, you know, think about it because at the end of the day criminal activities is only you stand to lose. No kidding. So, my advice is crime, doesn't pay. crime does not pay. Crime does not pay. But the reports are that the young man who was shot uh, had just weeks ago uh, been released from being imprisoned. That's that's my information. That's my information. What was his? Um, what was he in prison for? A series of robberies and robbery and arms. I understand. For Safe TV Headline News, I'm Mondale Smith.